Did you know that no theater is one of the only forms of stage art that has been passed down through generations of families? Welcome back to Theater History Thursdays. Today we are talking about no theater. No is a traditional form of Japanese theater that was originally known as dance dramas performed at temples or shrines in the 12th and 13th century and then became more popularized by the 14th century. There are five different kinds of no plays. The first one is called kami, or god play, which involves a Shinto shrine. The second is called shura mono, or fighting play, which involves Japanese warriors. The third is katsura mono, or wig play, which features a female protagonist. The fourth type can vary from gendai mono, meaning present day play, to kyojo mono, meaning mad woman play. The final type of no play is called kiri, or kichiku, which features demons, beasts, and other supernatural beings in Japanese folklore. In addition to different types of plays, there are also different characters. The principal actor, or shite, often starts as a human and then transforms into a spirit in the second half. The subordinate actor, or waki, is often played as a priest or monk and does not wear a mask. Finally, we have the kyogen actors. This acts as the ensemble for the play, and one of them often plays the narrator. One thing that's really special about no theater is that there are different types of schools for the different characters, and students must enroll in these schools in order to become professional no actors. No theater has been an ongoing tradition for over 650 years. It takes decades of training to become a professional no actor. Here at New Perspectives, we are dedicated to creating a welcoming community that embraces the importance of tradition. We strive to educate young theater practitioners and to incorporate different styles of theater into our work. That's all for now. Come back next week for more Theater History Thursdays with New Perspectives.